Hello and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. So, I was intending on completing a ton of this kind of stuff. Like all the side quests. But, I remembered there was a beast class. And I know there's mounts in the game. So I thought, maybe this is going to lead to mounts. I mean... You'd imagine this is definitely a prerequisite for it. But then I looked at the next one, and it, it just straight up says the reward is Alohomora. And I'd been complaining for so long about not knowing that spell, and just seeing it being needed everywhere. So yeah, instead of avoiding these, I'm actually going to just go and do them first. Yeah, uh, I feel like that'll... Unlock way more full of game. I'm not too far away, am I? Oh, actually, I, I kind of am. That's yeah. We we have already unlocked that, so we can travel straight there. So yeah, let's see if we can unlock some mounts, or even not. If we can just unlock beasts in general for our room of requirement that'd be awesome I didn't even think about the link there until now welcome everyone I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class Though be advised, none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous, especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy. Poppy Sweeting. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Oh. Oh! Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Here, you can practice on Gerald. Just keep an eye out for his tongue. <laughs> You can use my brush. Just be gentle. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. I like to think it enriches his experience. Okay. okay. That's lovely. I'm sure he feels much better. I think he might be hungry. Would you mind giving him some beast feed? What do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good news. He seems very nice. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition and cleanliness. Good work, everyone. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the Neasles in the farthest pen? This way. The Neasles are over here. I've never even heard of any of these creatures we're doing. I'm sure they were probably in, like, the new... Oh, new films, but... The easel whiskers ought to get me a few canuts, at least. Enough to buy something from Honey Jeeks. <laughs> uh, stupid thing. Uh, what in Merlin's uh, name are you doing? Uh, tuss, tuss, peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent? Her name is Persephone! <laughs> Her name is Persephone. <laughs> That's really not funny. 
<sighs> Let's go. Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Poachers in training. Persephone was on to them instantly. Thank you for your help. Let's carry on. Feed and brush the measles just as you did with Gerald. Oh, just the wrong button, that's why. So I'd do it to them all. I mean, I don't see why not. Now, where is our new Oops. Sorry, hang on. Well, that was easy enough. Professor, you wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast's lesson? It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good. You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly, which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. They're nearly as bad as the savages in Rookwood's poacher pack. Sadly, we're the ones who suffer. Stumbling over dead beasts? Terrible waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps? Hmm. An optimistic idea. Now, why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Be on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. Nice. Hey, over here. Come on. Hey, another or more thing that I need. Annoying. You need something, Poppy. Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. You've intrigued me. Very well. Lead the way. I'd hoped I would. Uh, cool, I guess. I wouldn't take just anyone there. In fact, you're the first. Really? Well, thank you. I think. As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. Yeah, I wonder who we're actually going to bump into. Or what we're going to bump into, even. Quite the weather we're having, don't you think? Poppy, where are you taking me? It really is much better if I just show you. Don't worry, we're nearly there. It's just ahead. Stand back. Nice. Please meet High Wing. Isn't she just magnificent? Go on, introduce yourself to her, but be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. I knew it. 
I don't think I've ever seen a hippogriff take to someone this quickly. You can feed and brush her if you'd like. I come and check on her every once in a while. Bring her pasties, tell her what's going on in the castle. You wouldn't know from looking at her, but she's a dreadful busybody. So, what did you think of High Wing? I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and High Wing cross paths? It's a longer story. But I rescued her from poachers a few years back. Got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry they could get her again. And that I might not be there next time. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. She seems to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poachers' influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. I'm just not sure what. That does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on. What they're doing. I think that's a fine idea. Information is power. And the more I know, the better I can keep High Wing safe. You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. Cool. Yeah, that was nice to get that done. Um, I don't think that I actually did unlock anything, really. It just gave me a basic introduction to how to treat the beasts. So... Still, it's progress towards. Because they're not just going to give it to me when I don't know what to do with them. So, yeah, let's look at what the next thing on our list to do is. Yeah, so we'll go and learn a little more now. Right down here, so... Try this, I guess. Oops, there we go. Oops, wrong way. Yeah, it's amazing to think how far like through the game I've gotten without learning some of these basic things. It's just new stuff all the time. Rebellion. I believe I haven't got that before either. What's crest? Cool. Mm -hmm. And how one gets into there. Never mind for now. Oh, it must be down there. Oh wait, I'll do this first. Don't know if I've seen this teacher before. Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh yeah. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, a Hogwarts caretaker. At your service. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. 
Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not. Uh, and from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. Okay, I have seen them around before. I thought they were just decoration. Now, if you wouldn't mind humoring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Okay. I now understand why that's. Oh, no. I was thinking it's one. Never mind. Ooh, odd little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed. Which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now, and I'll explain more as we walk. Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. And this one took the form of a demiguise. A demiguise? <gasps> yes! Terrifying creature that can see the future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demiguise. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. Some jackanapes use the boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Ogsmeade has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I, I simply can't bring myself to go near them. <laughs> In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Uh, perhaps you could start simply by removing them, so uh, I can go about my evening duties. I'd be glad to help you, Mr. Moon. Oh, I knew I could count on you. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However will you get in? Hmm. Alahamora, that's how. But what about curfew? Curfew? Oh, tosh. I sense you're a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. And I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, you'll find one statue in the prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh. Thank you. Right, okay. So, I have to sneak at night as well. So, yeah, this is actually going to be more annoying to do than I thought. What have we actually got? Wait, is it because it's essential? Oh, yeah, so we didn't even have to assign it. Alohomora. Awesome. Okay. Just left and right stick to move the sparks and rotate the dials until both corresponding gears are activated to release the lock.
Ah, oh. I I don't get what I'm doing. Disillusionment charm, so no one claps eyes on you. This is a area of the castle, after all. Um, okay. I guess I'll figure that out at some point. Alohomora. Right, okay, so. Oh, right. Don't really. Okay. I think I get it. percent sure yet. Guess I'll have to do it a couple more times to be absolutely sure. So many more places now. Uh, is this level two? Yeah. yeah I'm gonna get so so many more things done now. Get into like all sorts of places in Hogsmeade and everything. Okay, that's pretty cool. There is someone. Oh, there's more things here. I'm going to want to do that at some point. So level two. That's only level one. Okay, so can I just do one at a time? You know what, I still don't get it. <laughs> yeah, I thought I did from the last one a bit, but... No, that made me... ...worse again. Alright. While we're sneaking around here, I'm actually gonna... ...leave it for a second. And we'll finish off the rest of this next time. Right, see you later.